how to edit shopping cart page in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add some effects or some design and personalize your uh, shopping cart page into your Squarespace. You're not going to see here much uh, tutorials on YouTube, but I have resumed here uh, two methods or two codes into this video. So we are going to give you the codes and uh, let you see how they will work. Now, basically, we are going to head over to Squarespace.com, sign in for an account and select one of the website that you can see here. I have here the dashboard of the websites, so we are going to select one of the websites. Now, what are we going to do here is to head over the website and from here, we are going to head over the cart. Uh, as you can see here, the cart page. Now, what are we going to do is to click on pages and we are going to select from here website tool or tools and then we're going to click on custom CSS. Now, what are we going to do is to uh, here if we have some blocks added, we are going to remove them, click on save and nothing will be changed. Do not worry. But here I have this file or this code type of coding that we have here. I have basically here two designs and we are going to put them the two of them and we are going to explain them. I'm going to put the design number one which is going to be here changing the colors of the page and also the font which is going to be the background color and also the font of uh, the used one here. I'm going to paste the uh, color right there or the code here and then you are going to see that here we have made the things here a new text right there so where is the new text so i think that it was i'm going to delete that and let you see here something so we have the checkout the new text was a checkout so basically here new text here so we are going to set up here checkout instead check out or check out just like that boom we're going to click on yes now or save now let me explain to you a little bit what's going on here this code is special for setting up the uh, cart or shipping shopping cart i mean so basically we have the background color as you can see here we have this code we have some hex codes if you want to find some hex codes about the color, you are going to type in on Google hex code or like that. So you are going to get the HTML color codes. This website, we need it. Now we can go ahead and use whatever, uh, as you can see here, color that we want. So for example, this, we are going to have this one. This is the hex code. We have the hashtag and hex. What we're going to do here is to copy and paste the code right there and you're going to see that the color will change that was the first thing now the second thing is going to have here the uh, body card which is going to be here fff and this is the color of transparent so basically here we are going to see uh, the transparent color for the uh, body card there i'm going to change it to let you see what will change which is going to be these colors like that and also the card title which is going to be this here we are going to put it just like that we're going to see it that it will change the color so we are going to put it right there to white again now you're going to see some, uh, let's say here, um, maybe uh, the new text here, as you can see, also some uh, parameters that are not set up. So with that, you're going to uh, set up everything. So has the with add new text. So we are going to set up everything and read the instructions. As you can see, hides the checkout button text and add new text. So we are going to remove that because we are not going to uh, get this button. I'm going to get our standard button and here hides the shopping cart text and adds new text. For example, here 
car title as you can see we are going to set up as hidden so they have hidden the uh, shopping cart so that mean basically that this code is uh, could be right there not needed if we are going to remove it we're going to see here the things added so here we have the new text here I'm going to delete that so we are going to let it as shopping cart and as you can see here the things are going to be much much um, let's say here simpler it was a big code but now it is not now for the things or for the font size that has been used for the cart uh, title we have here a 28 pixel if we are going to change it for example to 38 I'm going to put it as 38. You're going to see here that we've had made some major, as you can see here, um, changement to this one, which is going to be this. We're going to see change like that, and but we are going to remove it from there. So basically, we have uh, trimmed all the code here to let only the car title color the body card color which is going to be a white and the background color so this is the code if you want to add some more text you're going to have here this hides the checkout text so you are going to add your own text and also hides the shopping cart text which is this and add your own text that was basically a monster code that we have here but you do not need to worry so if you want to add some text that will allow you to add some text if you want to hide some text like the uh, shopping cart or uh, the checkout button you're going to have them customized for you but for the cart title color and also the body cart color it is going to be like that and finally the uh, the background of it so i'm going to remove completely the text right there now I'm going to add the second code, which is going to be the design two. We are going to copy it and paste it and break it to you. As you can see here, we have something more different, but here on the side of the aesthetic. So here, basically we are going to have the shopping cart centered at the center. And also the, uh, as you can see, the content or the items on the shopping cart are going to be here into a, uh, let's say here, a more round cornered uh, sh shape. So, uh, right there, what are we going to do is to see or break down the code. We have the shopping cart title. As you can see, we have the color, so we can go ahead and modify the color it is which is going to be something simple to do i'm going to head over here it is going to match whether the um, color of that specific one but we are going to set up here the container here we have the container as you can see uh, background so we are going to give it here the same color if we want and if we do not want we are going to leave it as it is now as you can see the uh uh, the card title uh, which is shopping cart could be changed to another uh, font here we have some upper cases the center as you can see the alignment for example if you are going to put it to the left we're going to put it left and you're going to see it change position and we are going to put it here in our case only for the center and it will take place here now for the card content uh, container we are going to have the border radius which is going to have here the rounder corners and not the sharp ones if you are going to uh, delete them so or put it as sharp go ahead and remove it and you are going to see it so the more pixels that you are going to give it the more rounder it is going to look it was 15 here stock so it is not more or not uh, that rounder but it is going to be here acceptable you can go ahead and put it as you are as you want for the padding, a padding i meant here we have the uh, as you can see one rem so you can go ahead and put a uh, six rem and see the paddings that has been set so we are going to give it a two for example just like that since we have here the icon a little bit smaller we have the border as you can see one pixel for the solid here as you can see hashtag this and also the width is going to be here 
for example, we are going to give it a 90. So it is going to take here a little bit of the screen. So we are going to put it as 80 because it is going to have here some paddings to the left and the right and everything is going to be here. For the margin, I have, a, or we have set it up to auto. If you are going to remove it, normally it is going to uh, set up the margin and maybe it will go to the left or to the right. It doesn't have here a um, common sense, but we're going to set it as auto. So right there for the product row, we have the, uh, the border. Here we have no border. For the cart row, as you can see, we have no border which is this one. So we can add some uh, cart row or their border and make it, for example, for the border radius as 15. So basically we are going to see here the product image. We have some border radius, which is going to be here, cart row image. We're going to put it as 60, for example. Here, nothing has been changed so we are going to put it like this uh, we are going to see the cart row here product row uh, border for example radius we are going to add radius and in here I'm going to copy this code in case I'm going to uh, put it here as 15 pixel so we are going to give it here the more rounded effect so now we are going to see the final part, which is going to be the product title. And here we have the uh, color, which is going to be this color. Here we have made, as you can see, I don't know if you are going to see, but for the uh, product or the cart row, it's going to be here the line. It is a, basically a container, and that container is going to be uh, set up just like that. Order none. So we are going to remove the border. So we are going to see it just like that. Now uh, here, let's talk about, about here the product title, which is going to be this. We have here the color set up just like that. We're going to make it important, as you can see here. The serif, uh, which is going to be the font. If you want to modify it, go ahead and get yourself a font and put the name of it here. And for example, Ariel. Ariel. It is going to be changed just like that and then you can go ahead and change the color for example for fff just like that to be a black or pitch black so basically that was all for today's video and this is how you can um, uh, check and also modify or edit your shopping cart just like that and here we have it thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one